Hello, welcome to jobskillshare.org. So we are progressing on our series that is resolving tickets pertaining to IT networks. So all the issues in the IT network are discussed in every slide and every video that we are sharing. So today, as you can see, we are discussing the module that is Cisco Core Networking Knowledge and all the topics troubleshooting is based on those topics covered in this module. Today we are discussing static routing. So as you can see, we are on the ticket number six. We have two networks on NY Edge 1 router and NY Edge 2 router. On NY Edge 1 router, we have a loopback 30 network. And on NY Edge 2 router, we have loopback 20 network. Both the networks are unable to communicate to each other. And we need to see why are they not communicating. So you can see we have two routers, NY Edge 1, NY Edge 2. We have a loopback 30 having IP address 30001 slash 24 on NY Edge 1 router. And loopback 20 having IP address 20001 on the NY Edge 2 router. These are two different networks on these routers respectively. We have a serial interface having IP address serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on NY Edge 1 having 10001. And on NY H2 having IP address serial interface is having IP address 10002. So for them to communicate, this network should be having a valid static routing. So we need to check that and see if this issue can be resolved. First of all, we will try to ping the serial interfaces 10002 on the NY H2 router from NY H1. We try to ping this, this is successful. Now, now we are going to ping from NY H2 the serial interface having IP address. Ping 10.0.0.1. It is also pingable. So from NY H2 we are unable to ping the loopback 20 network. 10.20.0.0.1. That is, you can see time order is there, we cannot ping it. From NY H2, we are going to ping loop at 30, 30.0.0.1. So this is also not pingable. So it means there is no route. So first of all, we can check the route with the command show IP route. You can see there is no route towards those network. We will use default route. For that, the command is IP route. Destination can be 0, 0, 0. These are default routes. Subnet mask 0 dot, 0 dot, 0. And the gateway, the next hop IP address should be 192.168.20. Should be 10 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot. From here, and the reverse route from this router should also be there. IP route, so default route we are enabling 0 0.0.0.0, 0 .0 subnet mark 0 .0 .0. and then the next hop 10.0.0.1. So this is now done. We can now try to ping the loopback 20 network from this I ping loopback 20 you can see the ping is now successful because we have enabled the default route from here we can try to ping 30001 this is also pingable now because if we see show IP route we can see the route is there for the network that is 20.0.0 via 10.0.0.1 same here we can check show IP route and you can see over here there is a route towards 30 via 10.0.0 to the next hop so this issue is now resolved because of this routing default routing we have enabled
So now as you saw we enable default loud towards this loopback 20 from NY1 and loopback 30 from NY2. So moving on to solution, what was the solution? Configure default routing to allow communication between these two networks. Thank you.